Hi guys. So, I came back from Fort Lauderdale, which is in the States, as you can see, some time ago, and I made a video and I messed it up because I didn't record the audio. So, sorry about that. It's taken me quite a long time to get around to doing this, but here I am now with my Sephora Fort Lauderdale haul, which is a little bit different to the haul that I did last time we were out there in Phoenix. So let me just take you on through what I bought. First up, we have got Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Um, I bought this because it's been like literally hyped to death. There's nothing which has been hyped more than this since, I don't know, the royal wedding recently. Um, is it any good? What's in it? What did I think? I think, first of all, if you're somebody who's got dry skin and maybe you are going in an air-conditioned place, maybe like a plane, um, then perhaps, yeah, sure, it might be good because it's full of humectants. It does also have some antioxidants in it as well, like vitamin C, vitamin E, but for somebody with an oilier skin type, like myself, I wasn't like totally blown away by it. Um, would probably not purchase again because it's not for me but if you are dry and I don't know you want to like make a nice Instagram picture of you holding your summer Fridays jet lag mask in first class or something like that then hey be my guest go for it um, ingredients that you need to note for this product are shea butter which if you suffer from acne or even if you get the occasional spot might not be something great for you to use because it will perhaps give you spots, it's comedogenic. Um, and it's also got niacinamide in, which I neglected to mention earlier, which is kind of a, a trendy thing to have in products right now. This is just, it's basically just one big trend, I think. Okay, next up, we've got this Fizzy Body Sculpting Mousse, which despite the fact that um, it probably doesn't actually work or do anything, I really loved it because it just feels so nice when you put it on your skin. It's so exciting. So it comes out like a mousse, you know, like back in the 90s, if you're old enough to remember that, when everybody used to like gel their hair up like this and you know, it would all be coming up like that. Ooh. And you'd have to get a mousse to do that, very similar. And then when you're putting it on your skin, it kind of crackles, which is super interesting. I just found it a very exciting product. Um, it's got matted tea extract in it um, and caffeine. So that can help to reduce the appearance of cellulite. Um, I think, you know, if your cellulite is driving you bonkers and um, you're willing to just make a very slight improvement, then yeah. And if you enjoy fizzy things, like who doesn't, then this could be a good product for you. Okay, next up, we've got these Kane and Austin retexturizing body pads. What makes them for the body? Well, clearly the size, because it is huge. You can use that pretty much all over. It's got 10% glycolic acid in, and also some cool stuff like a bit of vitamin A in there and some vitamin E and some vitamin C as well, which is quite cool. Would I buy this? Great question, glad you asked. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think you probably, for the money, would get more out of just using a cream because once you've used all 60 pads, that's it. And you can't like, I don't know, use a bit of it because you're only doing a small area. You kind of have to use the whole pad. So not sure about the cost benefit ratio there, but as an idea, I think it's quite cool. Um, there are loads of brands that do these for the face. Um, and this is the first time that I've seen one for the body. Next up, we've got the best lip balm that I've ever tried in the history of my life. Um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I used to pronounce that brand Laneige until I was talking about it with one of my patients and she was like, no, no, darling, it's Laneige. It means the snow in French. And then I felt very stupid. Um, but anyway, she was probably right. Um, this is really cool because you use it at night, you use this little dibber thing to get your product out and then you smear it all over your gob. Um, and when you wake up in the morning, if there's any left on there, you just clean it off and it takes some of the dead skin away with it as well. If you're really dry, like I normally am, 
there was nothing left in the morning. Um, but I have been using this during the daytime as well. Uh, just literally the best lip balm I've ever tried. If you don't buy this, I'll be very disappointed. Now, Blue Tansy by Herbivore. This is really cool. It's such a cool color. It makes you feel like a Smurf if you have it on. It's wicked. Um, I liked it. I thought it smelled great. Not great because it's got jasmine oil in it for the smell. Um, some people don't do too well with essential oils. I am one of those people, unfortunately. Nevertheless, the smell is pretty special, so I pushed on through. In fact, let me just have a whiff. I could have a whiff. Yeah, it smells like sweets. You could eat that. Might make you sick, but you could eat that. It's got a mixture of different AHAs and BHAs in it. So it's got some salicylic acid in it, uh, papaya extracts as well. What else have we got in there? So blue tansy is a plant um, which contains azaline, which is an anti-inflammatory ingredient. It's also in Sunday Riley's Luna product too. Um, and it looks cool too, which really helps. So I imagine they put that in, uh, first of all, because of the color and it sounds wicked and also for the anti-inflammatory property of the product. Um, it also contains aloe as well, which is probably responsible for some of that anti-inflammatory um, effect that you get from it and a whole bunch of glycerin. Okay, so the ingredient to watch out for here is the jasmine oil. So if you have sensitive skin or if you're sensitive to essential oils, this is probably not gonna work for you. Next up, Coco Rose by Herbivore. It's just basically a sugar scrub um, with coconut oil in it. It does the job um, and it smells really nice. And also it looks really nice as well. Um, but apart from that, there's not that much that I can say about it that's particularly exciting. Would I buy it again? Sure, if it was a gift or something, it's quite nice to just give to a friend. Probably wouldn't use it on the face because you will probably break out if you do. But on the body, we're all cool. So it does contain shea butter. So if you have um, body acne, you know, sometimes people get back knee or chest knee. Is that a thing? Acne on your chest. You may not want to use this on those areas because um, it's comedogenic. Next up, we've got Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, which does smell delicious. It doesn't really have much on it that packs much of a punch. Um, so we've got glycolic acid and lactic acid, and it also contains an extract of my favorite flower, which is the peony, if anybody is going to send me any flowers. It doesn't say what percentage the acids are at, so, and they're quite low down the inky decks, so they're probably not very strong. This is the inky decks. So the ingredients to watch out for here are alcohol and the fragrances contained here within. Um, I tried it and I was fine with it, so it's probably more if you've got really poor barrier function, um, so eczema, psoriasis, then you might struggle with it. Now this is not strictly skincare, in fact it's not skincare at all. It's the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, I've literally never tried a better powder than this, which is why I'm bringing it to you, my people. Um, so it contains 50% glycerin and water so when you put it on your face with a brush um, it feels cold and it feels wet do not be deceived it is not wet I mean it is wet but it doesn't give you like a wet finish it just gives you the same finish that you would get with a powder it, anyway it's just wicked try and buy one try I say because it's sold out everywhere so good luck with that now because I am a little bit extra and I tend to go to the States quite a bit. There's nothing that annoys me more than using those crappy hair dryers that you get in the hotel rooms. So I bought myself ta -da, Dyson. I have one here, but what I don't have is the right plug. And when I take my Dyson here to the States, it doesn't work. Even with the adapter, it just doesn't work. So yes, reader, I purchased one for my holiday. Next, no, I haven't been watching Star Wars. I just bought a really big roller, which seemed to make a lot of sense when I had more hair. And since I've had it cut now, I'm just wondering, uh, am I actually going to get any use out of this? 
Um, I bought it for when I'm on holiday in America. Again, it's got the right plug end. Um, I don't know. But uh, hey, I've got extensions anyway, so maybe by the time that I go back, I will have had them put in longer. I don't know. Hey, I'm just unpredictable like that. We'll have to see. So while I was over there, um, they had this special deal where if you bought like loads of stuff like I did, um, you could get a bunch of sunscreen stuff and this cool bag um, for, I can't remember how much, but it wasn't much. It was like 30 bucks or something. Oh, $36. Retail value, 161, bargain. So I have divided them into ones that I would use and ones that I wouldn't use. So in the do not use category, and I've put things in there which have got a chemical sunscreen in. We've got Pizza, Thomas Roth, Max Shear All Day Moisture Defense, chemical. Clinique, Pep Start, chemical. Sugar Rose Fresh, Tinted Lip Treatment, Chemical, Lancome, Benefiate, UV, 50 plus, Chemical, oops, uh, Philosophy, SPF 30, Miracle Worker, Chemical, upset about that one because I really used to love Philosophy when I was a kid, by kid I mean like when I was about 20, so you know, not an actual child, um, Shiseido, Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion, Chemical, uh, a more Pacific resort collection, chemical. This was a bit upsetting because it was huge. What a massive tester. Um, Superpower sunscreen mousse, SPF 50, chemical. Uh, Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield, SPF 30, chemical. Maybe I'll give those to somebody that I don't like. Um, and then in the good pile, we have these and these. So, Pharmacy Green Screen, SPF 30, good, tick. Um, Drunk Elephant Physical Daily Defense, oh, I like this one. It's got a really like, nice foamy texture to it. Oh, and I did a video about Drunk Elephant, we'll link. Um, Tart Tart Guard, SPF 30, I haven't actually tried that one. Um, cooler Organic BB Cream, which has got a colour which I really like. And then this one, which is kind of interesting, Sikapair Derma Green Solution. So it's a colour correcting solution, I think that's the right word, cream, because um, it's green. So it makes it look less red, but it's also got an SPF in it, which is quite cool. Doesn't make you green enough that you can see it though. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, and then also in there, we've got the Wren Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. I don't really like Wren products that much. And Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pad Self Tanner for Face. Ooh, might try that. Okay, guys, so that's it for this week. I'm going to go and lather myself in sunscreen now. Join us again next week when I'm chatting about more stuff to do with skincare. And in the meantime, let me know in the comments section below if you've tried any of these products, if you love them or hate them, you let me know about it. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Great. Boom. Say, 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 I'm so paper. Say, 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 I'm so paper. Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls. You're looking like a movie star, but I don't know just what you are. Seems like you're top to be on the floor. You're looking for a kind of queen The baddest one you've ever seen You're shining bright as crystal Moving like a twister